Hi guys, this is Samet. I'm a traveling boss mom. Today's video is going to be on how to find activities to do on a budget when you're traveling internationally with your family. So guys, as you know, I'm traveling with my kids. I travel all over with them and I always want to share with you guys how I do this because sometimes when you're a single parent as I am, it's really tough to do things like this with your kids, especially on a continuous basis when the funds are not really what is ideal when it comes to traveling with your children domestically or internationally. So I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to be able to do activities when you do travel internationally with your kids that's going to either be free or budget, budget friendly. So my number one most recommended thing to do is to do a walking tour. There's so many free walking tours that you can do. Um, for instance, uh, my kids and I, we were in Italy and we went to um, Vatican City. Now, as you know, to go inside the uh, museum, I forgot the name of it. It does cost a certain amount of money to go in there. but And we were going to pay, by the way. But it just so happened the day that we went there, um, it was closed. I think it was raining or something was going on and we weren't able to go inside. And then we realized just walking around the area was just so beautiful. There's many different sites and things right in Vatican City that's completely free that you can just go look at with your kids and you don't have to tell them, hey guys, we're going to go do the free activity. Don't tell them anything. You just take them, you show them things. Do your research on the history of the um, the location that you guys are going to so you can give them some facts about the city or the location that they may not be familiar with. Um, I always recommend this because sometimes you kid, your kids may be learning these things in school and it's great for them to go to a location where they can see these things in person and then remember about that lesson that their teacher taught, taught them on and be like, oh wow, I actually went there and it's great that they can share that with their friends as well so walking tours are amazing we were um when we were in um uh, also in italy in rome we went to the arena and we were able to go in there for free so there was many walking tours that you have to pay for and if you want to do that it's perfectly fine if you if that's within your budget you can do it because the tour guide can give you lots of facts about the location um, that you may not be able to find online or stories going back you know local stories that you may not know of so it is uh, if you if you can afford it you can pay for it and they can take you to different parts of a location that you may not be able to go when it's free but I always recommend going with the free option and doing your research before you get there or you can also do some research online if you have access to the internet or if there's free Wi-Fi you can do some research while you're there so you can be able to share that with your kids because it's always good to give your kids the knowledge that they may not know uh, may not know to look for on their own or they may not learn in school or they just may not ever know in general and you are your child's teacher so you want to do some research on where you're going so that when they're doing their walking tour wherever they're going they can get some knowledge about what this place is about and why you took them there and I always recommend like when you're um, going to free activities try to get something for your kids where they actually you know get it, getting something that's paid for always recommend ice cream there's the uh, macaroons like those are things that kids enjoy cookies um, there's even those um, what do you call it like the scooters you can there's like a, a time limit that you can pay for we actually did that when we were in Poland we went to a location where there's a lot of restaurants and sightseeing and so on so we were walking around we saw the waterfall and then we rented those bikes for about 30 minutes or 15 minutes I'm not sure and it wasn't really that much and we took turns on one bike just rolling all around and they loved it so much another thing that we did when we were there was that we um you know there's usually people who have their um like di different activities you can do someone was uh selling like these bubble things <laughs> where you can blow bubbles out and uh, or like wave it in the the, the wind to make bubbles and I, I did that for my kids and they loved it like they really loved it so my kids at the time of those trap those travels one was five and the other one was 11 so those were like age appropriate if you have older kids you might want to find things that is more age appropriate for them 
but for my kids that were a little bit younger they really enjoyed it they really enjoyed jumping around even when we were walking in the rain they enjoyed that in Poland we were looking around for the gnomes in the area they loved it we took pictures and those are free things you can do um, if you want to find something that's budget friendly I uh, recommend checking out Airbnb Airbnb has a lot of activities that the, uh, locally that you can do and it is affordable and it's very unique experiences some of them is um, hiring someone to come to your home to teach you how to make like spaghetti uh, there's I saw one where um, the person was teaching you how to create a vision board so there's so many different activities we actually booked one where we did like a, um, a dinner show and this was in the Czech Republic so it was actually um, where there was dancers and they were doing like the fire breathing, I think you call it. And um, we got like a three course meal and it was just such an amazing experiences. I, I mean experience. So um, just to let you guys know, if you do decide to pay for an activity that might be a little bit over your budget, make sure it's definitely worth it. That was one of them that was a little bit more expensive. We paid about, I think it was anywhere between 40 to $50 per person, but the experience was so amazing. The um, entire show was about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes, and we got to see um, like people fi sword fighting, uh, a belly dancer, they were doing the fire dancing, the food was amazing, we got um, appetizers, entree, and dessert, and drinks. We were also able to socialize with the people around us. We met new people. We also met a couple that was on their way to Rockla, Poland, which which was where we were going to next. So um, activities like that can be great for your kids. That one is a little bit more expensive. Some might say it's cheap. I thought it was a little bit expensive, but it was worth investing into for me. So that's why I decided to get it for my kids, kids to experience that. Um, and I just want to point out also things like that is like lasting memories for your kids so you want to decide what you want to pay for and what you don't and is it worth paying for is um, doing a free activity worth it because you want to create lasting memories for your kids that's also why I recommend doing research so you can share things with them because they're gonna remember things that you wouldn't even believe that they would remember so why not make it a good memory instead of a bad one so you guys please subscribe and stay tuned for my videos my videos is all about how to do budget traveling with your family make sure you subscribe